So today I'm gonna to show you how to make the perfect large size Belgian waffle in the Oyster Belgian Waffle Maker. Now I have some pre-made waffle mixture here. I'll kind of show you the consistency if you wanna take a look. It's just the instructions that I found on the box, so pretty straightforward. <clears throat> it says to use roughly a quarter cup, so I'm gonna fill this up about uh, to a full cup and then I'll just kind of use half of it uh, to try it out. So let's go ahead, we're just gonna plug it in. It actually has no buttons, so it shows you on the front, these lights will turn off when it's heated all the way up. Okay, I can already feel it heating up on the bottom. Now you have to select how well cooked you want your waffle. So if you like it a little lighter, put it on minimum. If you want it super dark, put it on max. So that'd be entirely up to you um, what you wanna put on. I like mine somewhere in the middle, so I'm gonna put it right in the middle there. I'm gonna let this preheat for a couple of minutes. We'll come back and we'll start our waffle and try it out. Okay, so that took around 45 seconds to preheat. You're now gonna notice the green light is on. That means it's heated to your requested temperature. We're gonna open it up and I'm gonna pour in our quarter cup. So I think I'm gonna fill it up about halfway. This is a half cup again, just a reminder. So I'm gonna pour it in the middle. I'm gonna pour a little bit less. Actually, I don't even think that's enough. I think it's a little bit more than a quarter cup. Let's fill a little bit more here. Let's try that out there. We're gonna close it. And now it says when it stops steaming, no, that's not gonna be enough. Okay, let's try pouring a little bit more. We're gonna try filling it all the way up here. Let's go all the way. If we go a little bit over, it is what it is. It's our first one. That's probably around, okay. Let's try it there. Now it says when it stops steaming, that's how you know it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and let it cook there. Um, yeah, I definitely put over the quarter cup it recommended, um, but this is a large size waffle maker. So we'll try out this amount and we'll come back when it's done steaming and test it out. So now, as you can see, I do have a little bit of leakage. I put in a tiny bit too much. Um, so make sure you follow the instructions and what it says. We'll come back when this is finished cooking and check it out. Now it's pretty much done steaming. We're gonna open it up. I don't have high hopes because we all know the first one never turns out good, but let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, jiggle it a little bit. Okay, not bad. Let me see if I can get it. Now this is non-stick, so I actually probably shouldn't be using metal on it, but I'm just trying to get it underneath enough so we can lift it up and get it out in one piece without it really, it's ripping a little bit. Um, so I guess a little bit of warning there. Now, like I said, this is the first, oh, there we go. Okay, so the bottom did rip a little bit. I think I didn't quite let it cook long enough, um, which was definitely part of the problem. It is a, a tiny bit undercooked. But let's go ahead and check out how it turned out right here. It is a pretty nice looking waffle, despite me kind of butchering it a little bit, trying to pull it out there. Let's go ahead and put some good old maple syrup on there. You guys know you like that extra maple syrup. And let's see how it tastes, I guess. That's what matters most, is it? It was pretty much cooked. The inside on the middle was a little bit undercooked. Let's try this out. Mm. Okay, good waffle mix. I did a good job. I just didn't leave it quite long enough and it was the first one. So I think next time I'll have to leave it for one more go. But that's the waffle maker from Oyster. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.